Thank you for your support and for watching Aviv Tarot. This is a general pick a card reading. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Not everything will apply. My readings are meant to be constructive and not destructive. I give readings to empower you. I will be honest in what I see and will not give you false hopes or empty promises in order to keep you happy. I will be compassionate and sensitive to your feelings and will not judge or condemn. Energies are ever-changing. You are still the master of your own destiny. Hi everyone, thank you for watching Aviv Tarot and today we are going to do another pick a car reading and today's pick a car reading we are going to take a look at um, what changes are coming and what areas you need to heal yourself, okay? what areas you need healing, and then the tarot cards will give you advices, okay? Um, and the reason that's inspiring this um, reading is because uh, we are going to encounter um, the lunar eclipse that's going to happen on November 8th. Um, and this time is on the Taurus Scorpio axis, which is all about changes and transformation and that type of things. And um, the full moon or the lunar eclipse in Taurus is all about going back to um, simplicity, simple things. Stop thinking so complicatedly. Um, you know, um, going um, towards grounding, groundedness, mother nature, that type of things, okay? And, um, and, and Taurus is all about enjoyment of life, enjoying the simple things of life, right? And seeing your self-worth, possessions, just being very simple. Okay, so this is the reason why um, I wanted to do this reading. And um, so we're going to take a look at what is going to change or what kind of transformation, which areas, and then um, what areas are, you need healing, right? Because Scorpio is about healing as well, um, healing yourself so that you can be reborn, you can transform and become a better self. Okay, so without further ado, we are going to start with pile number one and timestamps are going to be in the description box below as well as in the message box and on the timeline as well. And if you need more time, you can pause the video. Pile number one. Okay, so if you chose pile number one, let's take a look at what area you're going to see big changes. We got the Virgo. All right, interesting. Um... It's super interesting because I, I saw what you need healing, like areas that you need healing with. Um, I'll show you later, but uh, it's, it's very interesting. Okay. Um, <laughs> Virgo, it, which area? Virgo is all about the changes, right? So it's all about, um, I mean, it's Mercury, right? Ruled by Mercury. And so it's all about thinking, thoughts. Um, and Virgo goes in depth about things they analyze things um but i think the big changes or the transformation is going to happen in this area so that what does that mean things that you analyze things that you think you know you think you did all the researches and all the data to back things up well it may not necessarily be true it things may um change your view on certain things or maybe there are going to be new data new things coming out and which will overthrow the old stuff the old patterns the old things that we thought we know but i guess we don't type of things so there are going to be changes in there and virgo is also about health Okay, so um, I think you're going to do a, a, a not do, but a lot of transformation um, in the health department of our lives or your life. Okay, so you want to take care of your body um, mentally as well as physically. Okay, mentally it might be more of like the Taurus or first house thing, but since it's ruled by Mercury, I, I feel like it still has a little bit of that, right? Thinking, thoughts, um, mental type of things. So yes, health, mentally, physically. 
you're going to see a big change in that area, as well as routines. Virgo is about servicing others. So there might be changes happening in your work area. Um, what, what does that mean? It could because, uh, the sixth house is also about, or Virgo also governs kind of, you know, servicing others, um, colleagues, work, right? workplace and so you might see changes there there might be a shift in um, people coming and going like changing in, in who you work with um, so you're gonna probably see some changes there okay um, so yeah so now this is why I was laughing earlier because look the place that you need healing and you got the sixth house which is uh, related to Virgo um, so you got two things that's kind of relating to each other. So you're going to see a big change there. And you're going to also, that's also the area that you need healing. Um, so again, the health area. You might even, the sixth house sometimes is uh, associated with pets. So maybe you're going to get a pet. Okay. Or maybe the pet is going to affect you some way and make you change in some way maybe the pet is changing your routine um or and maybe you acquiring a pet or losing one i i hope it's not losing one but there is that possibility okay um so health you want to heal yourself mentally physically if you're not exercising enough, if you're not eating right, if you're not eating nutritiously, okay, nurturing yourself, um, you need to heal yourself in this area. Also in workplace as well. Um, I don't know if there's going to be like you being overworked, okay? Um, you overextending yourself, servicing other people. You want to heal that part. You want to maybe not do over do certain things right find the balance so this is the area that you need a lot of healing um I, I would say it's it's a lot of mental and physical health that maybe you need healing with okay or, or take care of and the um recently okay that's coming up in the coming months Okay, so let's take a look at your advices. We got the judgment and we got the high priestess. Wow, we got two powerful um, major arcana cards. The high priestess is to clarify the judgment card. Um, but, you know, judgment, high priestess is all about higher power. Okay, so um, we got very strong Virgo energy right here. Maybe there is a sense of control, being perfect, having things going the way you wanted it to go, right? Um, but the advice is over here is you got to maybe let go. You got to maybe um, maybe go with the flow just a little bit. Um, Virgo is about, is it, it is a mutable sign. So you got to let, but see, it's not as mutable as the other signs in the mutable, mutable category because it's, it's too earthy. And so maybe you got to let go of that control just a little bit. Okay. Um, and judgment, I think there is going to be maybe some karmic things going on. Um, the Virgos, Virgos, uh, opposing house or opposing sign is Pisces, which rules, um, karma, you know, that kind of things. And so judgment. Things are going to be okay. I think there's also going to be maybe second chances to do things. So if you did something wrong or something, you made a mistake or something like that, I think you're going to be able to get a, uh, get a second chance in that. Um, it may not be right away. It may be in the process of, but you can't hurry things. Um, you might need to let go in order to gain because um, that's how the universe works. Um, because if you keep thinking, oh my God, oh my God, then you're going to stay in that, oh my God type of, um, energy. You got to be like, everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be good. Right. And then it's going to be like that too. 
so you gotta let go a little bit and judgment i do have to say there's some karmic things going on so you might be seeing um for example people who did you wrong people who took advantage of you maybe there is going to be a higher power at work um and so it's not up you shouldn't be doing anything because it's not something you could do or you should do because then you're just um getting yourself into the karma the whole karmic things and it's just in my opinion it's never good to get involved you want to let things happen and um not be involved in other people's karma and etc and um so there's going to be that and um i think really you're, there's going to be a judgment there's going to be things that you don't see coming um but it's going to happen right and it could be for you so if you've done good deeds you've planted good seeds things is going to prosper you're going to be able to get that reward okay and um which is very interestingly it just reminded me of something that just literally i just the message um i there is a virgo friend or boss and um just like two days ago she told me about things it's, it's super karma, karmic, revenge, if you want to call it revenge, if you want. Um, like for the past couple, like, I don't know, not even a couple, like maybe half a year or so, she was just being um, she, like at work, literally workplace. Uh, she's not being valued, even though she's being hired to do what she's supposed to do, but she's doing her job and and um there are people that just kind of block her out of a lot of things and she's like i'm tell she's trying to warn everyone about things trying to tell people what they what she knows um being super professional and everything too and pe some people got let go because of this whole thing that's going on and she was worried that maybe um they're gonna cut her out too and that kind of things and guess what just literally in the scorpio month two days ago she was like or maybe a week ago she told me two days ago but i think it happened about a week ago um the upper management are seeing what she was telling them five months before uh, ago stuff that's gonna happen and they nobody believed her no nobody listened we just kind of had to let it play out, let it go. She was like, I was I was telling her, I was like, well, there's nothing you can do. You can't do anything about it. Just gotta, I guess, go along with it and see what happens. And she did. And now she's seeing the judgment coming through. And now she has to make presentations. Um, the boss contacted her directly, telling her to make presentations the stuff that they didn't listen to her fell apart and she, now she obviously now she had to do the cleanup stuff but it proved her everything just proved her right right so things are at work it's just not it, it needs to come out at the right timing okay so that's pile number one i hope this gives you a little bit of a comfort okay so um if you have anything you would like to share with me, you can leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to my channel and turn my video and turn on that notification bell if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. All right, pile number two. Let's take a look at what changes are coming. We got the Jupiter. Wow, look at that. Abundance is coming. Woohoo. This kind of like reminds me of like the Tower card. So something sudden is going to happen. And it, interestingly enough, uh, I mean, this is a timeless reading, but the eclipse that's going to happen right now is on the, the, the Taurus Scorpio, right? Axis. Um, there is Uranus right on um, um, Taurus as well. And so it's also going to make a conjunction with the eclipse. So something sudden, something big, I would say, that's going to come. Okay. 
Uranus. This kind of gives me, I think you're gonna get this sudden good, like flush of good news coming in, um, abundance coming in. If things are just not going right, see, this is the thing about the Scorpio Taurus or just this, just lunar eclipse, because that's what inspired this reading. That um, sometimes things can come suddenly and it changes your whole view because the Jupiter is also about principles. It's about your view. It's about higher um, self, right? In the ninth house. Higher, like divination. Jupiter is the god of the gods. Zeus, right? Um, so I, I think... Things may come in suddenly and change things and you're going to feel all shaken up. You're going to feel, oh my God, right? But it's not necessarily bad. Um, like the tower card, people, everybody's scared of it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's destruction. It, it could be crazy and dangerous and, and, and overwhelming. But it's also about rebirth. It's also about doing things right, giving you a chance to make things right again, right? Um, it's, it's, a, it's very humbling as well. So um, I think there's going to be things coming in. And if it appears to be bad at the beginning, it, trust that it's actually going to be positive. It's going to be a good thing. It's going to shift you in the right direction that you're meant to be on. Okay, so that's a huge change that's coming in for you. So now, um, it could happen in like the 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 um, foreign affairs, traveling, um, higher education. It could be also about what I said earlier: principles, boundaries, um, belief. Jupiter is about belief, faith in something. So it, it, it might shaken up your faith in certain things or your belief in some things, but it's for the good, right? Boundaries and stuff. So now let's take a look at uh, in which area you're gonna need healing. And we got Cancer, I feel. So I think Cancer is about family. So I think there is going to be some um, family issues maybe you're going to have to deal with or um, resolve. Cancer is about your emotions, okay? So maybe there is some emotions that you've been suppressing and not revealing and you're just taking things in and, and now you're just overwhelmed and you need to let it out. You need an outlet, okay? So where, which area you're gonna need healing is, um, it could be family issues like, like like I said earlier. It could be something foundational. Again, very Uranus, right? That Like that tower card. Um, so I think you need healing, foundations of certain things. So if there are things like pain, um, things that you need healing, you might want to look back to the root of things. What is the cause of this? Instead of like trying to cover it up or finding the easy way to heal certain things, you might want to have, you might have to actually dig a little bit deeper into things to find the root cause of things so that you can cure it for good and forever. It might take a while when I say cure it for good and forever, and it's probably not going to be a quick process unless it's something quick, like easy, right? But if it's like so rooted, it might take a little bit of time. But if you find that root cause, you'll be able to actually see or be able to deal with it a little bit better, Right. Um, and then again, emotions that you're going to have to need healing or an outlet. OK. Um, you might feel underappreciated. Right. People don't appreciate you. Um, you might be a little dramatic over it. <laughs> you're like, I've had enough. Um, so you got to um, let it out. Let people know. And um, it, it, and sometimes cancer, it could be about sensitivity, 
So maybe you might be a little sensitive to certain things, but you just can't take it personally. Or if you know for a fact it was a personal attack, you maybe you gotta confront it, right? Cancer is also associated with chariot, the, uh, the card, right? Tarot card. So um, it's about courage and going but like butt heads with people when when your boundaries is overstepped right when enough is enough you're just like enough right all right so advices for you is queen of wands and the ace of cups look at that this is to clarify the ace of wands uh, the queen of wands and so queen of wands be fiery be fiery okay don't let people overtake you and also the Queen of Wands over here. We have the Cancer and the Queen of Wands. Very, very, um, and we have here the fire energy too. I think you guys have really good instincts, whether it's like survival instincts or just like a sixth sense of like things that can be seen. Um, you have really good sixth sense. So you got to trust your intuition. If you feel something is not right, something is kind of off. You gotta trust it. Here's the Ace of Cups too. I think you're gonna be offered something, something good, something amazing. Jupiter, like I said, there's gonna be good news coming in. It might be overwhelming at first. It might even be negative at first, but you're going to find it satisfying and you're going to be able to get a new start out of it. Um, Yeah, and I feel love is coming in for you, okay? Like, doesn't have to be romantic love, but love. People are going to love you. People are going to tell you how much they appreciate you, how much you're being valued, how important you are. All right, so this is what I see for pile number two. And if you have anything you would like to share with me, you can leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to my channel and during my video and turn on that notification bell if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. All right, last but not least, we have pile number three, in which area you're going to see the biggest change is saturn truth okay um saturn is also associated with uh, capricorn um or classically aquarius as well so you might see um changes in your workplace reputation in particularly your images with the public um the uh, aquarius the 11th house as well so like with the crowd um there might be some changes there Okay, you might get diehard fans supporting you, giving you all the support because they finally realized truth, right? Realized who is fake, who is lying, who is doesn't really have the ability and who does right? So you might be um, experiencing a lot of challenges, a lot of crazy things. Um, but right now, um, things are going to uh, turn like tables are going to turn into your favor in your, uh, in your favor. And they're going to see the truth. After all of the hardships you've experienced, you've gained knowledge, you've gained experiences, you've gained a lot of things. Also, you know, pain and stuff like that as well, but no pain, no gain, right? Um, but you're going to actually get a lot of support. People are going to see what it is. Sometimes truth is ugly, right? Um, and you're going to get a lot of support. Um, you're going to have like a change in your reputation, a change in your image. People are going to find you super trustworthy. They're going to believe you. They're going to trust you. Okay.
All right, so um, in which area are you going to need healing? Wow, we got the earth element. So here's like a double earth going on here. Um, so you need healing in the earth element, which is stability or financial, um, financially. So maybe um, there might be some financial troubles right now that you need to take care of, okay, that needs healing. Maybe you've been trying to escape from it, but now there's no way you gotta face it. The Saturn truth, right? So you gotta um, not take the easy way out. You gotta do it um, step by step, financially get that foundation built again. Um, uh, Earth element is also about mother nature, okay? So maybe you gotta go out a little bit more enjoy the uh, nature right earth is also earth element is also about body okay you got to take care of your body take care of your health okay um you got to drink more eat more nutritious stuff eat um, not processed non-processed food you got to eat whole foods not necessarily organic, but organic would be pretty good too. But whole food, nutritious food, not processed food. Take care of your health physically. Um, and maybe enjoy the better things in life, the simple things in life, instead of complicating things, right? Um, you got to just make things simple for yourself. There might be some healing going on at workplace as well. Like I said over here, finally people see your worth. Finally, they see who is the one, the troublemaker, right? Who has more value, okay? And you're gonna feel healed. You're going to see healing in that area or you need healing in that area. And so that means if the workplace is not happening, is not giving you what you need, maybe it's time to go. You got to get away from toxic um, environments, right? Toxic people. Um, or even like the places that you live, if it's toxic um, you got to maybe move to somewhere else. Okay. Health. All right. So um, advices for you. We got the Ten of Wands and Two of Swords to clarify it. Interesting. I feel like you are overwhelmed. You are overwhelmed. Look at this. There's a Ten of Wands carrying on this person's back can't even straighten the back anymore. You're overwhelmed, but you're kind of, you don't know what to do though, two of swords. There, uh, there are a lot of things that need your attention and I feel like they're equally important to you and you don't know what to do. Um, and so, <laughs> so much work to do to be done but you got to take care of your health first okay um i feel like maybe these are putting a strain on you baggage it's causing you may maybe even mental breakdown too got to take care of your physical health and mental health the truth will come out don't you worry Okay, um, so I think you're feeling overwhelmed. Um, you really got to take care of yourself. I think the advice over here is to take care of yourself. Okay, and and maybe um, try to prioritize maybe a little bit too, because I think you're trying to handle all all things and everything at the same time, and that is going to be. A huge challenge and and the thing is you might not be able to give your best to everything right to all the things that you wanted to do might as well focus on one thing at a time and then make it 
better and the best that you can and then move on to the next thing so prioritize so not necessarily you have to give up anything i don't feel like over here you need to give up stuff but um you gotta balance i think there is a need to balance things out okay finding the middle ground of everything okay so that is what i see for pile number three and if you have anything you would like to share with me you can leave it in the comment section below and don't forget to like share or subscribe to my channel under my video and turn on that notification bell if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye